Good morning, everyone. Welcome once again to our morning prayer, coming to you from St. Michael's Parish in Chicor. And I'm Dermot Mills, an oblate in the parish. And on this Sunday morning, the Gospel today tells of an unjust judge who was asked by a widow to give her justice. And he doesn't, he refuses. And so she continues to annoy him and pester him until he finally gives in. We read in Luke's Gospel where the judge says, because this widow troubles me, I will do her justice, otherwise she'll wear me out. Her persistence pays off. I suppose there's a lesson on prayer in this somewhere. But the Gospel today, it's not just about sticking at prayer, persevering in prayer. It's about that, yes, but it's more than that. Otherwise, we might be left with the impression that we can get what we want from God by continually pestering God and harassing him like this widow did with this unjust judge. Until we wear God down and God gets so fed up with us, he gives us whatever we want. No, God isn't like that. But it does say something about prayer, I think. And people, uh, people have sometimes said to me, you know, that they have a hard time praying, that it seems to do nothing for them, and that they feel as if they're just talking to a wall at times, that God doesn't answer their prayers. Now, I love doing a bit of fishing, and when I'm fishing, I sometimes meet people, and we chat and talk. And some years ago, I was on the shores of a lake fishing somewhere in the west and a woman came by with a young child I think a little boy about four or something and we began to talk and chat and then it turned out that she was suffering from postnatal depression and had been suffering from that for many years she'd attended doctors but didn't find them helpful she tried the group AWARE which is there for people suffering from depression and she told me she only attended one session and then she didn't go again because it wasn't very helpful. So I was kind of wondering where this was going. Eh? And then she asked me if I had any help. Now why on earth she picked on me fishing to ask that question, I don't know. So we talked, we talked at length about her condition. And finally I asked her if she prayed about it. Yes, she had said prayers, her mother had prayed, they prayed off and they'd said many prayers, but nothing happened. God doesn't answer their prayers. I spoke to her about the value of taking part in a group and eventually, eventually, she said she would try that group aware again. And this time she would attend a number of times to give herself a chance. So I think that gave me a chance to mention to her that God doesn't always give us a direct answer to our prayers, but God often answers through other people and sometimes in ways we don't expect. And maybe this is the way God answered her prayer, by her making a decision to try that group aware again. And I think, I, I'm sure that we all know people who are suffering and struggling with difficulties and may feel helpless and alone in their struggles. So for a few moments, call one of them to mind quietly and just quietly pray for them and entrust them to God's great love and care and mercy just for a few moments. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.